Seven signs a man sees you as a life partner. You know, you might be dating someone and you're not sure if they will actually want you in their own life. And sometimes there's how they can look at you and say, this is a person that I want to be with for the rest of my life. So here are seven things, seven signs that you can check out for to show that this one wants you as your life partner. Number one, he integrates you into his life. You notice that when he's talking about the things that he wants to do in life, he talks about you and him. He stops saying, I will do this. He says, we will do this. This one most likely wants you to be together because he sees himself as one with you. Bible says in Mark 10 verse 8, And the two shall become one flesh. So then they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. Number two, he makes you a priority. You notice this guy will make time for you. He's never busy for you. He listens to you. He appreciates what you are sharing. You notice he takes you and values you so highly because he sees you as someone that he wants to spend the rest of his life with together. Luke 6 verse 31. Just as you want people or men to do to you, you also do them likewise. Number three. He introduces you to the most important people in his life. You notice the people that he values highly, his mentors, his friends, his bosses, his parents, his pastors. He will always rush to introduce you to them because he knows he's serious about you and he wants to actually settle down with you. Now look at what happened in Genesis 34 verse 3. A guy called Shechem. Bible says that his soul was strongly attached to Dinah, the daughter of Jacob. And he loved the young woman and spoke kindly to the young woman. So Shechem spoke to his father Hamor, saying, Get me this young woman as a wife. Number four. He is never scared of during hard times. When you have situations, when you have an issue that has developed, he's right there. For instance, if you fall sick, you notice he's never, he wants to be part of that situation. If you have a situation at your workplace, you've been demoted, you've been fired, he wants to be part of the solution. He wants to walk with you this journey because he has decided, I want to walk and be with this person. Proverbs 17 verse 17. A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. Number five, he forgives very easily because we will do things, we'll offend each other, but he's quick to forgive because he does not want to carry the offense. He does not want the two of you to be disintegrated because of the challenges that are happening, because of the differences that you have together. So he forgives pretty fast because he wants the two of you to continue the relationship. Colossians 3 verse 13, it says, bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. Number six, he's open, he's vulnerable, he's honest about himself. If you ever see a man who is honest and real and is willing to share his weaknesses with you, this is someone that has decided, I want this person to know me. I want this person to understand me better. I want them to, uh, to, I want to share my feelings. I want to empty myself to this person. And if you have someone who is doing that, they probably have decided, I want to walk this journey with you. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 10. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, I am strong. Number seven, he leads you closer to Jesus. By the way, if anyone wants to have a long-term relationship with you, they want you to follow Jesus because they know that when you follow Jesus, your life changes, your belief system changes. They know that you become better uh, when you follow Jesus. And so he will try as much as possible. He will recommend, uh, can we be praying together? 
You know, he'll come up with ideas. Can we be reading the word of God together? Can we be going to church together? Can we go for a certain conference with you? Do you want us to go for praying and fasting together? Because they have decided they want to be with you. If you notice some of these signs, there are so many signs, but these main signs, these ones are a sure fact that they really want to spend the rest of their life with you.